salutations everyone i am utterly exhausted today so um it's going to be absolute chaos trying to play magic the gathering but since um it's the last night for magic the gathering we're going to do our best um we've got two um quests um quest achievements task whatever whatever they're called i don't actually know what they're referred to in this but um anyway we have two for casting white spells so we're going to just um pull out our standard white deck that we were playing a while back and um do what we can with it <sighs> Ooh, sorry for yawn. Like I said, I'm very tired. I did not sleep well last night. It's taken me a while to adjust a new sleep schedule. Alright, um... I mean, we got three lands, so we can play most of what's in our hand. It's a shame we don't have any one-drops or anything that we can play, but... Now with that land, we can play everything in our hand. Let's just hope we don't get rushed too hard. Which we might. Cool's really not playing this card first, but might be our best option. I think it actually is our best option. Kind of crazy. So we've already got synergy with these two cards. Oh, there's the well, It has vigilance, so I don't see a reason not to attack with it. Creature, but it gives me an extra point of attack. So it seems like a decent enough play. way to go with this just because this is only going to give me creatures right now um, unless I attack with both of these which uh, seems ill-advised so I could cast symmetry matrix that may do nothing I kind of think that using the ability might be my best bet here. There we go, the creature. And it's just going to be no attacks this time. Let's go around. Probably running some fight spells. So I'm probably going to be losing creatures. Or they'll cast uh, whatever the hell that thing is. 
interesting that they're self milling. They've got several cards that do that, so I wonder if there's a um, certain synergy that they're working towards. Oh, they do still have two mana open. But I probably just lost the design. Yep, sure I did. Well, it still forces them to use a card, so it's kind of whatever. Uh, uh, play this. And then I guess I'll cast this. Second ability, yeah. I guess Halo Fountain's going down. Yeah. I mean that's fine. <laughs> Wasn't really using it anyway. Um, we're gonna block at a four-four, and then I'm actually going to block that with that. We're still taking seven. Good options here. Oh no, that. Mm. Okay. Well, that's game. I was hoping I could have gotten the, um, the puppy dog, uh, spirited companion. just didn't work out for me. I just was not getting uh, the low CMC creatures that I needed. Um, I got several draw cards, but uh, they were very conditional kinds of uh, card draw that I just was not meeting the conditions for. Hey, we can buy a pack. Let's uh, head over to the store. Let's uh, continue working towards uh, March of the Machine. Kind of mythic pack. Crack that open. Ooh, hello. Pretty border. That's a very interesting deck design. A lot of mana ramp, but then you can do some cool stuff with that. Hey, and I'm Jim Swilkman. Oh, Monastery Mentor. Unfortunately, I don't cast a whole lot of non-creature spells, otherwise I would put it in the deck that I was playing. Uh, it's a Seer 4 mana that creates a token. Not really the best for what I'm doing, so... Not really any new cards for uh, the deck that I'm running. I do have an uncommon that I could work with, but... I think it's fine. Mm. So sleepy. Oh, 
Okay, so we got plenty of lands. Um, we have lots of card draw. Hopefully just whatever we draw will be helpful. Because um, this isn't... I don't feel like an untakeable hand. It just isn't ideal, so I'm really banking on card draws to fill things out for me. What does this do? Oh, okay, it's a reanimator. Alright, you know, I don't hate this. Uh, double rumor gatherers ain't bad. I'm doing okay. I'm just really tired. I didn't sleep well last night. Um, I ended up waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning. The stomach was hurting. Uh, just... I mean, not like super bad or anything, but it's just generally upset. Uh, it took me a little while to get back to sleep, so I just. And I'm currently trying to you know, get used to a new sleep schedule, so I'm just dragging a little bit today. Uh, I think I want to keep this on top. Um, because. I can't cast anything else this turn, and I've got a land in my hand. Um, this draws me a card. Oh, they chose not to discard anything. I hope you're ready to. They're gonna exile my creature. Yep, sure did. You're done. You can't sleep well either. I guess it's just going around. <laughs> All right. Um. really know what to look for here. I mean, I guess, I, like, I need creatures, but I feel like I need a creature that's symmetrical for Symmetry Matrix. We're gonna go ahead and kill this place as well. I guess that's that. Now I can't attack it anymore. Um, region of the area. Oh, Sarah Angel. Okay. Well, all right. So we'll cast Symmetry Matrix. Um, oh, I can't attack with my flyer. I didn't think about that. Uh, but yeah, we'll get um, a token from Wedding Announcement, which will trigger the Symmetry Matrix. Especially because next turn I can play both of these cards. Oh, goodness, they're getting double tokens now. Oh wait, I have this card, I think. I think I got this some red packs. Maybe not. Oh, you got a second postcard. That's cool. What does uh, the second one have on it? Oh, this is indestructible now. That's fantastic. Oh, the only thing about doing this is that then I can't pay the trigger to draw cards, so... I'm actually just going to cast this and then leave it alone. Um, you know what? I like this, so we're gonna keep it on top, and then we'll pay to draw it. It's a shame I can't cast it better. Map of Prairie. All right. She sent some pretty cool um, postcards. Oh, so this is like Mirror Gallery, but better. Um, both of them are attacking that. I don't 
there. I'm just gonna let them have it. Okay, they have class of core. Um, Okay, so they gain life for casting creatures, I lose life for losing creatures. It's pretty self-explanatory. Alright, um... I... I need the symmetric. I got a planes. Uh, hmm. Well, I think uh, putting it on my angel is probably a good idea. Can't do any attacks. Token. Oh, cool. I drew another river gatherer. She added another bug, bug fact. What was uh, the bug fact that she added? We got a mythic. Oh, double strike. It's truth. That transforms. Life total. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna make some sacrifices here. Um. Oh, you know what? Yeah, actually. We block those things. Alright, let's cast this uh, rumor gatherer. So we've got planes. Uh, not really what I needed, so I'm gonna put that down. Do the halo fountain. Put it on this. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and attack with just the angel. Untap that, let's get a token which will trigger my symmetry matrices as well as all this other stuff. Um, yeah, you know what? I like the Overseer. We'll keep it, I guess. And that gives us a couple of things. Red worm that eats leaves, but can kill if eaten. Hmm. Um, I don't think this is necessarily what I need right now. I'm going to put that back down. Starting to get heavy here now. Um, let's see here. Can I afford to lose anything? Not particularly, but I guess I don't have a choice. 5-5 five, five has got to go. The 3-4 uh, needs blocked. And then I can block these things, I guess. Hey, Quasi. Um, uh, not well. <laughs> I am super tired today, so I probably am not at my best in terms of thinking of strategy. So far, we've played two matches and we've lost two matches. But yeah, how are you doing today?
Alright, we're going to run with the same deck again, so that way we can get this task out of the way. <sighs> Alright, okay good, we got the dog. Curve's pretty nice. Hopefully I can just draw lands. Um, but I'm pretty happy about having the dog and being able to have the mana to play the dog. Oh, we got another dog. Excellent. Your mother came back from vacation and she made you sad. How did she make you sad? Uh-oh. I didn't draw a land. I'll play another spirited companion next turn if I don't draw one. Okay, yeah, didn't draw a land, so let's play companion number two. Come on, land drop. There we go. Well, I like this thing. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Polycranos. Good god, okay, well, seven mana, or six, with three mana. Um, alright, we're gonna do wedding announcement, and, uh, I really dislike having to do this, but I'm gonna attack with both my dogs to trigger the wedding announcement. A little tired? Okay, so we're just all tired today. <laughs> Everyone who is in this stream is tired tonight. Triskai... I don't even know how to pronounce this. Skydekithal? Triskydekithal? Okay, got our planes. Um, so, I, I want to... Play Celebrity Fencer, so that way you can start um, benefiting from actually playing other creatures. And then I'll get a token, because I'm not attacking with Spirited Companion. Oh, okay. Or uh, Polycranus will just eat that. So Polycranos engine and rune is basically warm coil engine, but it's a hydra instead. Um, it doesn't have trample, so I'm not going to take four damage for that. I'll just sacrifice the soldier. This could be a little risky, but uh, I'm going to play elsewhere. I'm not looking for trouble, but I'll fight if I have to. And I think I'm going to put a lifelink counter on it, just to, because I, I, I mean, it's dying. This <laughs> simple way to put it. Um, definitely going to have to block with it. I mean, we do get a token, but this way um, I can at least get some returns for um, for having to sacrifice it by getting some extra life. Oh, okay. Or they can just not attack. Oh, that's also cool. Alright, so we got six mana to work with here. Um, I really want to get this draw stuff online. Um, so, let's do this. Lifelink on this as well. No attacks. If 
Fortunately, I don't have to worry too much about the protection on those swords, because um, I'm not running blue or black. Any stun counters for the world? That is absolutely ridiculous. Two mana to take a card out of play for three turns? The heck? Okay, I could block Polycranos. Or, I could kill this and cut off their draw and Elspeth still lives. The or, okay. I mean, I still gain life, but that thing doesn't die. Uh, six mana. Mm, I really needed to draw something. Uh, I'll tell you what I can do. So I can cast this. Put the two counters on there. Pay, and then draw. this on Let's here. This Let's give it first strike, actually. And, uh... Should I attack? Or should I hold back? I'm, I'm gonna attack. Hopefully they don't get rid of my Angelic Quartermaster, because then Elspeth is gone. I was here. Always when she's a big shitty... Shitty. Oh my god. Big city? Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is how tired I am tonight. Um, she buys you your favorite fries from McDonald's, but not today. Um, before vacation, she ate your kebab. <laughs> I wish she's very hungry. <laughs> Alright. Um... I'm up to 7 mana now, so I can cast this. And then this. Because I don't have to worry about drawing on this in the matrices. Show him what you've got. Vigilance on that. Um. There's still no reason for me to attack quite yet. I've, I've got a good defense now. Um, and I like that I have Vigilance here. They're probably going to transform all the Kratos any minute now. Um, oh, okay. There goes that. It's just a 3-3 citizen. Okay, Spirited Companion. I'm gonna draw a crap load of cards off that. And then, um. I don't think I can win off the Inspired Charge, so we're gonna do. Splendid! Brave. And we're gonna put first strike on this. Attack with that, because it's got vigilance. First strike. Pay to draw. Alright, I, I think we've won this attrition. Uh, your town, you don't have McDonald's. I have um, several McDonald's in my town, and I never eat at any of them. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, 
Oh, I, I like Full House of Horrors as a thing, but uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're going to take this I know and give you. it flying. And then we're gonna full swing. I'll I'll pay um, because I only need four mana to do what I need to do. Yeah, that's that's game. We did it. We won at least uh, one match in my frazzled state tonight. Thank you, Quasi. But yeah, I um I don't know why, but I have apparently a difficulty in saying city sometimes and it comes out as shitty. Uh when I was in New York City, um we were staying in New Jersey and one of the times that we traveled into the um into New York City, we went through Jersey City and um I didn't realize that we were there until we were already mostly through. And the people I was traveling with, I, I asked, I was intended to say, oh, is this Jersey City? Um, but out of my mouth came, oh, is this Jersey shitty? And uh, to <laughs> which they responded with yes. And then I corrected myself and said city. And then they said also yes. <laughs> it's, it is apparently a problem. My defense, though, like, you know, Jersey, it's, I, I don't know, like, it's, it's kind of a, bit, a tiny bit of a tongue twister, say, Jersey City. Um, hey, we got the one ring. Let's see here, protection, so I gain protection from everything until my next turn. I lose one life for each bird encounter on it, but I also draw a card for each bird encounter on it. That's, uh, good in every deck, <laughs> but especially good in my various, uh, lifelink decks. My mouth just wanted to speak the truth, <laughs> yeah. Uh, fire inscription, cast answer sorcery, it deals two damage to each opponent. I like that card a good bit. Unfortunately, I would want this in one of my standard decks, and that's not standard legal. Um, a legendary orc here as well. When another creature I control dies, but I put some plus one counter on that. If it's a goblin or an orc, put two on it instead. So it's just big dumb, basically. Okay, decent cards. I mean, heck yeah, the ring. All right, and we finished our uh, the quest. Game refers to them as quest. So let's um, switch over to this uh, Grixis deck that I was working on. Unga bunja orc boink deck, <laughs> not boink bulk. <laughs> God, uh, orc boink deck is uh, Baldur Gates three. You can too, Quasi. I won't judge. Works need love. <laughs> oh, I could cast that. Um, I don't like the. I don't have access to my other colors, but I can at least cast something in my hand. So I'll keep it and hope it gets better. It'd be great is if I could. Um, get black mana next turn. Nope. I can cast another card. Uh, 
Okay, so they're doing heavy instants and sorceries. Got it. So this deck is basically just supposed to hit them in the face as quickly and as hard as we can. Um, and basically just ignore the rest of their deck. Okay, I can't cast more than one spell, so I'm just going to cast this as a creature. Uh, no point in attacking because they can block it, but I might attack next turn depending on what they play. Yeah, I'm definitely going to attack next turn. I did not draw a land, so unfortunately I'm getting bottlenecked here. But... Oh, counter spell. Alright. Still attacking this turn. I, I don't care if I lose the edging. Love rushdown decks. This is what you ran in Runeterra's. Yeah, it's uh, I mean, so like Red Burn has been a staple in standard formats for a long time, up until oh shoot, when was it? Um, Theros, I think, or I think it was after Theros, because Theros still had Lightning Strike, um, and then they they really toned it down. Um, this is essentially the same thing as the Red Burn deck, but. It's three colors because I added in blue so that way I could draw cards to get a little bit more momentum. And then black doesn't deal damage directly, but they do have cards that directly make them lose life. Um, yeah, no, I'm not blocking you. Go, go ahead. Knock yourself out. Um, so it, it, in spirit, it's the same thing as a red burn deck. Um, I just, I don't have enough cards in standard to do this mono red. Okay, I'm definitely drawing cards. Uh, Alright, and then double attack. Um, how to dodge invitation to watch stream and not be rude? Uh... <laughs> Alright. I don't know. I usually just go the rude route. <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, if it was me, I would probably just uh, not respond to them. Um, and then just respond back later and say you were busy and didn't get it until now. But I, that's... I'm personally really bad with staying on top and communicating with people. Um, so it's 100% believable. <laughs> For me, um, that may not work for you. Okay, so they can beat me next turn, so I've got to deal 7 damage to them next turn if I'm going to win this. So, let's look at this here. Alright, I cast Burn Down the House. Do they have Trample? No, they don't have Trample. They do have Flying, though. Um, because this gives me three devil tokens that when they die, it, it can deal one damage. So that lets me block some damage. I think that's going to be my bless, blessed, my best play. God, I can not speak. You know, yeah, blessed play. Here we go. Burn down. Give me the tokens. Um, oh, you know what? I could have, I could have dealt five damage to each creature. Okay, three, four, five, six, wait, no, wait, three? Wait, yeah, that's actually, no, oh, but they've got a blocker, though. But I only need two creatures, so, uh, we should probably still have his old MPG cards, he sold his whole collection to someone for a few hundred dollars. I've, I've had to do that before. Uh, I remember him saying he had so many sandworms or something. <laughs> We're rare. I'm not sure if we should, though. Uh, that. I think fully um, depends on. Okay, what's happening here? Am I dying? 
block that, but I'm getting seven, eight damage done. Oh yeah, I'm totally dying. Well, yeah, okay. Um, it totally depends on when that occurred. Um, I don't know of a particular sandworm that is... Okay, I can't block that. Oh, it has menace. Um, let's block it this time. But, uh, was it, like, Sandworm Convergence, I think, was a, uh, a pretty powerful card. Um, but I don't think it was ever particularly valuable. It was just, I know it was used a good bit in, in Commander decks. Uh, sorry, I was boinking an orc. Yeah, there you go. There, There's your excuse. Uh, let me pull up Scryfall real quick and look up Sandworm. Let's see... Okay, yeah, there's only two cards called Sandworm. One one is absolutely trash. The other one is Sandworm Convergence, which came out in Amonkhet. But yeah, it's literally worth like 18 cents. Um, so, no, not... They're technically rares, uh, because the game um, lists them in rarity as like commons, uncommons, rares, mythic rares. Um... So they they are technically rare, <laughs> just not rare in, in the sense of you know how many people actually have them. <laughs> just rare compared to other stuff coming out. This would have been a ninety eight, um, oh ninety eight or later. Yeah, I don't know because there's there's a lot of worms. Um, for a while, worms were the big um, green creature which now that's pretty much been replaced by hydras um but i don't know it was like armada worm was a pretty big deal but it's super cheap now and it really it was only big and standard um the that thing for ravnica it's like five bucks but it was like a nine fourteen that you with trample that you can cheat out pretty easily. Um, Boneyard worm was used competitively a lot, but it was an uncommon, so it was never too expensive. Uh, Elder scale worm was in twenty thirteen, but I don't think it ever got used, so I don't think it was particularly worth anything. Uh, Massacre worm, Massacre worm was definitely used to a great extent but it's sitting around like two bucks right now um nova blast was one of the first mythics but it's not it was never really used competitively it's not worth anything uh what are some other worm cards trying i don't I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, World Spine Worm. World Spine Worm was common for cheating out. And it's um it used to be a lot more expensive. It's still it's still sitting at like nine bucks, which isn't bad considered how much um people bought the Return to Ravnica set. And then uh Worm Coil Engine was another really big one. Should mention that he sold this back then, not now, so he may have ripped that poor kid off. <laughs> yeah, now if if they were worm coil engines, then um that would be ridiculous because those are like twenty buck cards. But that's that's it as far as worms are concerned. <laughs> like it's Alright, so this guy who wanted to be a female VTuber began soon, and you really don't want to watch you feel cringe and anger, anger about his streams. I think you've mentioned this before. I feel like I remember you talking about this. No, I got super ripped off when I sold my collection, because I... I mean, I had basically, like, a competitive dredge deck, like, vintage uh, dredge deck. The only thing I didn't have was the bizarre... Baghdad 
um, cards, which were like 300 a pop. But I had like everything else in the deck. It was that deck alone was worth half of what I sold my entire collection for. But my collection was worth thousands, and I sold it basically for like 200 bucks because I really, really needed the money. Um, it was when I was moving to Ohio for uh, college, so I desperately needed the money that was tied up in my collection. And it was a person who owns a store. I mean, it was like an ad uh, that they responded to, but it was a person who owned a store. So they turned around and sold those and made like a massive profit off of it. Alright, let's try Grixis again. had a first edition hollow Charizard that ended up at Goodwill along with five others? Parents were not happy when I told them that. Good God. I had a um, a Japanese foil Dratini that I ended up losing because my parents thought that Pokemon were satanic and got rid of the cards. That pissed me off. A lot. <laughs> okay, so we have access to two colors here, even though we only need access to one for the cards in our hand. Um, so we'll keep this. I mean, I might as well play the tramway station. Like, I'm not getting played with a fire cast this turn. Hey, this is uh, some artwork for Ask Me About Bugs. It's got scorpions on it. Oh, and pitcher plants. That's cool. Ah, duress. Oh, might burn down the house. Alright, um... Let's see, control to more land, so I'll just cast this because it'll come into play untapped. Later. Um... I'm gonna use this to scry. There's another play with fire, but... I, I really need a blue mana source and ideally a card draw. Oh, lifelink! That's just what this deck needs to be facing off against. This is going to be an uphill battle. Oh, and it's a lord. It's boosting them. Fantastic. Well, I'm definitely casting this as a creature. And I actually think that it would be more beneficial for me to target this because it will stop them from gaining two life, essentially. Um, so it's basically like I dealt two damage to them and I got rid of one of their creatures. Oh, but they have another lord. Cool. This is just a straight lifelink deck. This is like the exact opposite of what my deck's trying to do. Oh, yeah, totally this. Boom. That was a heart of the cards draw right there. Back, which they can sacrifice that to get. Um, I can discard any number of cards. Do I want to? I don't think I do. This makes you want to play Runeterra. 
I don't know anything about Runeterra. Um, for as far as card games go, I've um, I've played this and I've played um, Hearthstone. Now, like in like paper cards, I've played um, Kaijudo slash Duel Masters, and I've played um, Yu-Gi-Oh before as well. And then obviously, I've played the Pokemon card game way way back in the past. Okay, I'm gonna exploit the uh, twin shot sniper. <laughs> I could make them lose two life. Um, oh, we won! They quit! Woo! Runeterra is basically just Hearthstone with a much friendlier economy. Cool, I'll have to check it out. Because I like card games. We'll take those rewards. No, what is? I don't remember even. I feel like this was the first deck that I built coming back to Badge the Gathering Arena. So this is probably um, awful. But let's uh, let's roll with it. Because I've, I've unlocked so many standard cards since I built this deck. This has got to be absolutely terrible. But I don't even remember what's in there. If you start playing again, you'll add me. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that and Yu-Gi-Oh are about the only multiplayer ones I know how to play. I I feel like, um, you know, once you learn a card game, it's pretty easy to pick up other card games. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh was honestly the hardest one for me to learn. So much about that game made zero sense to me. Okay. Uh, I want a mulligan because I can't cast any of my creatures. Alright, this is better. I want to put the uh, titanic growth on the bottom. Not having a mana limit makes Yu-Gi-Oh absurd. Yeah, but Yu-Gi-Oh does have a limit on how many uh, creatures or whatever summons that you can have on the uh, battlefield. That kind of stings. I was very disappointed to find that out. But it also totally makes sense with how busted summoning creatures in that game. Okay, I can cast that, so we'll do Thornwood Falls, and then <laughs> we'll pop this out, but it doesn't really matter, because they get to untap next turn, but I just, I need to have some kind of creature prefer uh, pre preference. Creature presence! God, just give me a lobotomy now. I can't speak. And actually... Because this is only a 1-1. One, one. I mean, it's great that it flies, but uh, I'm going to deal that damage. And then I'm going to exploit it so that I can draw some cards. You'll have Severe Halo modifies me with their thighs. Oh, God. That's uh, not descriptive at all. And then Anna Jims comes in with maybe I try to. I mean, I get that she's responding to a different sentence. But my God. Um. Do I block this? I feel like the answer is no. They're letting it through, so I'm going to do the three damage, and then, um, uh, I mean, this thing casts mana, they might attack, but with them being on three lands, I don't know. I'm going to card draw. 
Oh, they draw a land, so they will be on curve next turn. This is a fun one, easy to learn too, since it has a lot of single player content. Yeah, I definitely want to look more into that. Add it to my uh, list of games for streaming. Oh, they left that wide open. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that has an ability with ninjutsu, so I kind of want to keep that in my hand for the time being. Do I do the three damage or no? You know what? No. I'm gonna hold back my death touch creature. Oh, consuming block. Consuming Blob is a creature that I am really surprised um, made print. Like, I I've, I can totally see that existing as an alchemy card, but uh, my god, that is so hard to keep track of in real life. I like the music playing right now. Pass to end? Okay. You like card games too, Engine Jumps? Awesome. We're the card game club tonight. Big tree's big, and we'll get bigger. Fortunately, I have a death toucher. At this point, um... I don't think Snarling Wolf is super fantastic for me, um, so I might sacrifice it to the Dockside Chef, draw a card, because so I'm really running out of momentum here. Yeah, I'm not going to block that. Cult Conscript, that's what we need. Um... This is not really a good uh, thing for me to use this for. I'm just going to cast it just to get it out of my hand at this point. I, I don't feel like um, I have anything worth uh, copying. If 
but they're just going to keep getting blob tokens here, which is really unfortunate for me. But also, I don't have a way to deal with that right now. Uh, I can case the joint next turn, which is going to help for sure. Oh, I thought that was only for Lance. So they, they can bring everything back. might lose this creature, but I feel like it's... If it forces them to use a card in their hand, then um, it's a card for a card. Alright, case in the joint. We got... Oh yeah, there we go. Let's get another swamp out. I only have the one mana, so we'll cast this as well. Have reach? Yeah, that thing has reach, so uh, no 1-1 one -one attacking with our ninja. If they don't get um, any kind of removal, we're kind of at a stalemate, because unless they can produce more creatures than me, I can block whatever they throw at me, and I've got the Death Toucher, so they're going to lose their biggest creature, which they can recur. I'm just going to block with that. Because again, they can recur it. I'm not losing my 4-4 uh, four -four to that. Cast that. I don't know how well that's going to work for me, but... Uh, sacrifice the wolf. let me draw a card, but also it will let me return that back to the battlefield. Which... Oh, I really would like to uh, sacrifice whatever my blocker is going to be, but so they don't have trample on anything. Yeah, I can uh, I can do this at instant. It doesn't have to be sorcery speed. So, worst case scenario, if they don't attack, I'll still just end up sacrificing the conscript. Uh, yep, not attacking with Topiary Stomper. Colossal Sky Turtle. What up, my turtle, dude? Okay, but it's just a flying 6-5, looks like, which flying sucks because I lost my one flying creature. But 
it's just a big dumb. Like I, I don't think I have much rem targeted removal in this deck. I think most of my removal was in the form of death touch creatures, which surprisingly I've drawn so few of. I know I'm running multiple. I do remember that about this deck. Nothing? No, nothing. Alright. Then, uh... We're gonna sacrifice our skeleton. And draw our card. Titanic growth, which doesn't help us too much. Um, it's kind of sad, but I think I would actually just rather grab these two lands. Um, I've got four mana to work with here. Oh, everything in my hand has Jitsu. I didn't notice that. Um, See what happens here. You know, I kind of wish I actually I attacked the Topiary Stomper because with the Jetsu that would bounce back to my hand and I can recast it. Oh, that's return an unblocked attacker. Whoops. Forgot how ninjutsu works. Hmm. Oh, rather unfortunate. having a very hard time keeping up with their side of the board. Oh, another turtle. Yeah, you, you know what? That's, uh, that's cool. Don't hate that. But at this point, if I lose, I lose. Like, just, just let it. Quasi's running late. That's fine. As the blocker, so we can't do anything about the 6 5. 10 10, oh my god. I think it's getting ridiculous. Um, I think this could give plus 4, so we'd have 6, 7, 8. That's all we can do. We can get rid of Valley Raiders. But we've got too much damage coming in, so we've got to block the 10 10. So now we've got still 18. So, we've got to block this, but now I don't have enough to kill it. And, oh, I forgot about all those three whatevers. I mean, it's game.
Yeah, that deck sucks. <laughs> I surp I'm surprised that we lasted as long as we did with that. Just being totally honest. Um, I'm honestly surprised. But yeah, let's see here. Um... We can switch back over to Nerxus. It's kind of fun. Just uh, completely ignoring the opponent. It's not something I would want to do often, but it is, it is kind of fun. Just switch things up a bit every now and then. Play Solitaire. Ooh, we got the Thermo Alchemist. Uh, give a Transformers fact. Um, in the second Michael Bay movie, uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, um, there was a point where random things inside of Sam Witwicky's house gained a spark, um, and those appliances and devices turned into transformers um, one of them was a blender and the core of the blender was unfortunately positioned right between the transformers legs and um, it was not a um, a mishap or anything that was just an oversight because the official name of that Transformer is Dickbot the Blender Guy. So, if anyone ever asks you what's the coolest Transformer name, the the correct answer is Dickbot the Blender Guy. Oh, they're probably so mad at me for taking so long to look at my hand. <laughs> Sorry, person. We had we had important things to talk about. I, I think now they're taking super long just to spite me, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Dickbot, the blender guy, would would be chill with us, so we're going to be chill. Actually, Dickbot was uh, the opposite of chill, but he has a blender, so he serves chilled drinks. So I, I, it, it balances out in the end, I think. I think we're good. Oh, there's anything interactable in this. Oh, it's just like blood <laughs> comes out when you click on this, I guess. Quasi began. All right, awesome. I I think I might just concede from this match anyway because, um, well, okay, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Here. Okay, no, we're playing. I, th I think they just walked away from their computer or something with how long I was taking to select my hand. Hey, are we playing the same kind of deck? How funny would that be? I gotta be careful with using this as a blocker because they clearly are gonna be heavy on the instance and sorceries. But especially the instance. Because I could easily block this and survive, but if, you know, they 
play just a couple spells and that's it. It's dead. Okay, we're good this turn. Here. Do I go straight for Arabrask? I think I do. I'm gonna go straight for Arabrask. I have a feeling that this match is going to be over pretty quickly, either whether I win or lose, it's, it's going to be quick. to make them discard. Oh! Ooh, we gotta tap that. Almost missed the trigger for it. That would not have been good. I kind of like this how it is. Um, I mean, I don't have the mana to transform it right now anyway, but it's good to know that I can flip it over to do three damage. <laughs> Although I realized I could have been able to play play with fire because this produced a red mana. I did not realize that. Whoa! No, that is not cool. They took my creature! That's a great way to end the night. And to end uh, Magic the Gathering for, what, past two weeks. That has really flown by. Uh, it does not feel like it's been... Not quite two weeks. Because we've, we've had co-op um, game night, but... It definitely uh, flew by, for sure. So yeah, that is all for Magic the Gathering. We are going to, to Stardew Valley tomorrow. Uh, we have special guests, Twy the Mad, um, coming in. We're going to be doing our beach farm, and we're going the Jojo Corp route. We're doing the big bad, uh, because we've never done Jojo route before. We've always done the good thing. Um, and then after that, we're moving on to Psychonauts, and we'll be on Psychonauts. I have it um, scheduled for two weeks, but... I doubt it's going to take two weeks to complete it. Um, I don't think Psychonauts is that long of a game. Um, so we might end up moving on to Team Fortress 2 a little bit early. Um, 
but yeah, so that's that's the plan though. Stardew Valley, Psychonauts, and then Team Fortress too. But yeah, uh, thank you everyone for coming and hanging out, Adam Gems and Quasi. Appreciate you here chatting. And um, speaking of Quasi, we're actually going to raid him now, so that way we can uh, watch him properly complete Yakuza like a dragon tonight. But uh, I hope everyone had fun, and look forward to seeing all, each of you tomorrow.